Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to scrape data by searching multiple keywords on a website with the text input feature in Octopus. The text input feature allows you to add a list of keywords into Octopus to create a text list loop. Then Octopus would search each of the words from the list to scrape the results. Let's say we have a list of laptop brand names. We want to search these brand names under the laptop and netbooks department on eBay. Then scrape the product information, like product title and price, of all laptops under each brand. The scraping process can be split into four steps. Step 1. Create a new task. Step 2. Create text list loop. Step 3. Select the data to extract. Step 4. Run the task. We will guide you through all four steps. Let's start. Step 1. Create a new task. First, create a new task in Octopus. We select Advanced Mode. Click Plus Task. Paste the URL of the eBay website. And click Save URL. Step 2. Create Text List Loop. To create a text list loop, first, we need to drop a loop item action in the workflow. Turn on the workflow mode, so that we can further customize each single step and corresponding action. Then drop a loop item action into the workflow. Then, select text list loop mode. Go to loop mode, and select text list mode. The text list mode is used for loop items that are all type ahead text value. 3. Add keywords into text list. Click the little a. Paste the brand names you want to search in the text box. Click OK when you finish entering. Then you can see the brand names in the loop item box. Four, create an enter text action. Click the search box on the page in the built-in browser. Select enter text from action tips. Then input the first brand name from the text list into the pop-up text box. Once you click OK, an enter text action would be generated in the workflow. Five, drop enter text into loop item. Drag the enter text action in the workflow and drop it into the loop item. 6. Set up loop text. Click on the enter text action. Go to loop text. Tip use the text in loop item to fill in the text box. Thus, Octopus would automatically enter every word from the loop item box into the search box on eBay. One word at a time. 7. Click the search button. After entering the brand name in the search box, we need to click search button to view the products. Click the search button on the web page in the built-in browser. Select click button from action tips. You can see a click item action is added inside the loop item in the workflow. Octopus would in loop execute the two actions. Now a text list loop has been created. Step 3. Select the data to extract. Now we can enter the step 3. Select the product information for Octopus to extract. As text input is the focus of this tutorial. To save your time, we would like to make the data selecting step very brief. First, click to paginate. Then, go to product detail page. Last, select the data that you need. Select the product information for Octopus to extract. Click on the product title, price and other information. Then select appropriate actions from action tips.
Step 3.5. Check the workflow. Don't forget to check the workflow before running the task. Let's see how Octopus would get these brand names to be searched through in the search box. As well as the way Octopus interacts with the eBay website. First, click on the loop item in the workflow. Select one brand name from the box. Then click on the enter text action in the workflow. In the built-in browser, you can see the selected word is entered in the search box. Finally, click on click item action in the workflow. Octopus simulates real browsing activities to click the search button on the eBay page. You can view the search results of the selected brand displayed on the web page in the built-in browser. Final step. Run the task. When you finish configuring, don't forget to save your task. Click Start Extraction to run the task. Here we run the task in local. Now you've known how to scrape data by searching multiple keywords on a website using Octopus. Thank you for watching.